Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Hi, Seeksters. Can you believe it? It's already that time of year. Greetings from the future past, past future. I thought I would come on here and officially welcome you guys to Vlogmas 2018. I'm so glad you clicked on this video and that you were here for Vlogmas, okay? On this channel, we're doing Vlogmas our way. And over the course of the week, you will find out what we're doing, how we're doing it, and so on and so forth. Now, if you already watch my channel, you already know about Sopo Chic, you're part of the Chicster family, the Chicster squad, the Chicster community, I have to think for a second. Um, you can go ahead and skip this whole intro part. But if you are new here and just want to find out a little bit more about me and my family, then let's talk about it. I run this YouTube channel and a blog called Supple Chic. At, so you can find us at SuppleChic.com. I'm also on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. And again, our goal here is to help you style your life better as a plus size slash curvy slash fluffy, whatever um, the official politically correct term is, um, you know, I struggled growing up. I struggled with self-confidence. I struggled with styling my body. I just struggled with a lot. And finding the plus size community was one of the best things that happened to me. And so I decided to start my own, create my own little space on the internet where I could make women who are like me feel safe and feel loved and feel comfortable. And that's what I do on SuppleChic.com and that's what I do here. Now, some people think fashion is a super trivial thing, and I totally understand. But for me, fashion, to me, gave me an outlet. It allowed me to be more than just a fat chick, you know? It allowed me to be more than an overweight girl. Fashion, to me, allows you to say something about yourself and your personality, even before speaking. Because if you want to know more about this journey, more about Supple Chic, I will put a link to the blog down below. Now, why am I doing Vlogmas? I'm doing Vlogmas, like I said, because I want you guys to know more about me. I want you guys to see what my life is like behind the scenes. You know, being a full-time educator, working, running a blog, almost full-time, really. Um, being a parent. I just want you guys to see what who I'm like, my quirky family, my son, my mom, um, my brothers. Hopefully you get to see at least one of them in this vlog. Um, but yeah, I just want you guys to get to know who I am, you know, behind the brand. So I want you down below to let me know what your favorite thing about Christmas is. Like, why do you love Christmas? Do you love the holiday music? Do you love gathering with families? Do you love snuggling up in your jammies? Do you love getting presents? I would love to know down below. All right, so without further ado, let's get into this vlog. Happy Saturday, guys. So, it's about 5 p.m. right now. It's my first time leaving um, the house. I'm about to run some errands, trip to Target, and go pick up a few things from my room. I think we're gonna hit up Home Goods, etc., etc., etc. Um,. I just had like a late morning because I didn't sleep well. You know how you wake up like too early and then you try to fall back asleep and you can't? That's basically what happened to me. So I was like laying around for till like 10, almost 11, and I still was tired because I didn't sleep. And then when I, after I woke up, I was um, working on some blog content. So yeah, I worked on this post. Um, and everybody seems to really, really like it. Everybody seems to really like the, um, leopard skirt. I actually scored it from Amazon, and I'm pretty sure by the time this vlog goes up, the Amazon haul would be live, so you can see the leopard skirt I'm talking about there. Let me go run these errands. I don't know. I sent Alex to a trash can, and he's still not back. So let me go find out. Guys, so you would not believe what just almost happened to me. I was literally opening the door, and this lady just comes. She was trying to get into the parking spot, and she hit us. <sighs> I'm trying to return some stuff at Target. There's two things that I want to pick up. And yeah, Alex, was that not scary? Oh, what? Almost getting hit by that car. Yeah, because somebody hit us, but. Nothing happened to our car. Something happened to theirs. 
dead. Mm -hmm. So I guess we just got lucky. Uh, I don't know about lucky. She got a dent on her car. Cause she, aren't you supposed to look before you pull into a parking spot? I don't know. just uh left where where did we go we just old left navy. old navy and what you call it and we got girl scout cookies the girls were like oh would you like to buy some girl scout cookies and i was like oh i don't have any um what you call it i don't have any cash and they were like we take cards so last time i checked in with you guys i think we we're in front of old navy when i bought the girl scout cookies i got some thin mints I ran out of space. I ordered um, a new fresh SD card. So, as I was saying, we just got in the house. I'm trying to stay close to the light, y'all. You guys know how lighting is up in this house. Um, but I picked up a few bits for um, props for like flat lays and stuff for the blog. Um, as a blogger, you have to have props <laughs> for sh to shoot like you know flat lay holiday themed stuff so i went to the thrift store and not thrift store the um dollar tree it's not too dark but i got um some of these little chimey things and then some tiny balls this like plaid oh, ribbon which i think is super cute and then i got um this head thing and then some ribbons for the flat lays and some mini lights for the flat lays and some boxes for the flat lays guys um i right here right now i'm putting away the groceries you can watch How do you like the new pants I just bought? Uh, <laughs> I don't know where these pants are from. How old are you? H&M. Move back. They're from H&M. They're so short. Oh my god. These ki this kid grows so, so fast, y'all. Like, I need a budget for, for him. Whoa! Okay, a clothing budget. Um, Alright, are you done? He had to show you guys his cool dance. Crystal. Be Sunday, guys. It's been a totally glorious day. I want to say good morning, but it's not. It's actually afternoon. Um, I'm actually wearing this sweater from Shein. And this skirt is from Amazon. They both have hauls coming up on my channel. Because by the time this goes up, they will be both on my channel. So I'll link them down below. I about this one. Do your video. Secret. You cannot tell her about this. Shh. Be quiet. Let her put it in her video. She won't know anything. I never freeze. Hey, I didn't see you there. I'm so sorry to be interrupting the vlog. I'm sorry. But I did want to keep up the momentum that we have started with 12 days of gift moves. I just want to share with you what you're going to be doing. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you don't know what 12 days of gift miss is, I'll put a link to the blog as well where I talk about it. Today's gift is going to be what I call the natural hair survival kit. All right? So I'm giving you guys, oh, I'm giving away this wig okay this is the wig this is nisha by outre i've worn a lot of wigs over the course of the years on here on youtube and on social and every time i wear this wig someone comments about it what i love about it is how full it is it looks like you had you blew out your natural hair and your natural hair is luscious 
beautiful in Lux and it has just a tiny little bump to it. You win this, okay? And the reason why I call this my natural hair survival kit is because most of us naturalistas, okay, we love our products and we love our protective styles, especially in the winter. So put that, you know, hydrate, moisturize your locks, put them in some cornrows, and pop on your protective style. What I love about wigs is the fact that I can take it off when I get home. Aside from the wig, also get all the products you could ever need, okay, for a wash day routine. Within this whole pack of products, I, I've included some of my hands down goat products, okay? The first goat product that I learned about this year was is the Pantene Leave-In Detangling Milk. I did a campaign with them over the summer, and I, out of all the products I tried from the line, it's getting all over my hair, sorry. <laughs> out of all of the products I tried from the line, this was my absolute goat. Like, this was the, my favorite. Of course, you're going to be also getting a suite of other products from, I've got Carol's Daughter in here, more Argan Oil, Cream of Nature in here, and more Pantene in So that is going to be what you're going to be winning in this giveaway. Again, how to enter is going to be super easy and super simple, and there will be a link down below that will take you to where you will get all of the details to enter. So enter now, because this giveaway ends soon. a little chicken filly and some fries. I'm supposed to be getting a massage right now, but the um, people are gonna take an hour, so I was like, okay, we're not doing that. So, yep, I'm here. About the grub on this. Forever 21 came through with the faux stod and the faux Chloe. Which one is your jam right here? I'm really feeling this though. I don't need it, but I want it. So guys, I just left Nordstrom. I went there to return stuff and I ended up getting color matched. So I was at, I went to Estee Lauder, I got color matched, and then I went to Mac. And you know, this is the problem with people of color and customer service, right? When I was getting a match at Estee Lauder, I was like, I want a sample. The girl's like, yeah, awesome, great. You know, here's your sample. I hope you like it, so on and so forth. And then I went to Mac and the girl was helping me out. Um, and as soon as she knew that I wanted her sample, her attitude changed. You know what? I actually think the Mac color was better, but based on the customer service that I got from the girl at Estee Lauder, based on the customer service I got from the girl, if you guys can't see me, I'm sorry. I try to find good light, but the sun is so bright. Um, at Estee Lauder, I would go back, you know? Like, as soon as she found out that I wanted a sample, yeah, as soon as she found out that I wanted a sample, her attitude just changed. And you know what? If she had a better attitude, I would come back. Don't assume that I'm not gonna come back, honey. You know, don't assume. And honestly, I may go back, but I won't go back to the to the Mac counter at Nordstrom. I'll go to the one at Macy's. Remember, it's the little things that bring back the customer. And I know it's not your business. I know it's not your business. But one day you might have your own business. These are a few tips for you to learn. Happy Monday, guys. I just got out of the building. I mean, I could show you guys where I work, but because it's raining, y'all can't even see. Yes, yeah, so I'm in the parking lot. 
Um, I'm in a parking lot and I just got out of the building. This morning was kind of like a little crazy because I had to drop Alex off at school and I usually don't have to drop him off at school and my coworker just walked by me. So hopefully he's not wondering why I have a camera in my face. But anyways, so yeah, we had a half day today, but I pretty much left at the same time I would have left if work ended regularly because it was a great day and I was trying to finish publishing all of my grades before I left this building. So yes, what is the plan today? And I also have to pick up Alex from school. I'm trying to finish editing the halogen video so that can go up. I, at first I thought I could do the sweater video, but that just takes, lookbooks just take more time because they're more, um, they're more, they're a little bit more artistic. Now I don't do too much at home i'm in the kitchen right now uh put our stuff down i'm just gonna continue what i was doing yesterday which was sort of um tidying up things gotta put together a bookshelf for alex's room and then gotta put together a lamp for my living room and then i have to finish with my room and i'm doing this dance because i really need to pee so i'll see you guys in a bit what are you making? Sandwiches. Alex's latest obsession. The grilled cheese, especially in the small oven. Tell them how you make it. Voila, bon appetit. Okay, all right. So we're about to put together Alex's new bookshelf because he has a lot of books he loves to read. Thank God. Um, but yeah, we're going to put together that uh, so that he can have somewhere to put all his crap because his desk is kind of full. I recently moved a com his, the computer into his room, but I don't know. I feel like I was having a lapse in judgment. So <laughs> when we move, the computer will not be in his room anymore because, you know, teenage boys and computers. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's start. Where's the, where do, where are the tools we need? What do we need? We need... You know, I don't know what I was doing. I've gotten confused. I was doing it. Pulling back the curtain by myself. Take a look. Hey, all right. I got it. I did have it for like a few seconds. You should have just started recording it without telling me. Move. See, I got it. I'm doing it slower than I usually do, Mom. Look how I do it. Look how fast I do it. Alright, come on, let's start. Hey, guys. I, I, hey, 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 anyway, guys, I, I, <laughs> she's, she's just speaking a lot, anyway, I did everything, <laughs> I did everything, and mommy did nothing and sat on the bed. Wow! <laughs> if Jesus came right now, where would you go? Hmm? Well, we did equal work. Ha! Go! You got to my Huh? No. I just hope you guys had a great week and that you loved vlogmas number one. Give this video a thumbs up if you did and are excited for vlogmas number two. I'm hungry. Why'd you start it now? The food just finished. These are the things I have to deal with, guys. <laughs> These are the things I have to deal with. So Christmas is one of my favorite times. If not, like, I don't know what happened to me, but I became super nostalgic when I got older. I love Christmas music. You know, I love um, just the glitz and the glam. And there's just something in the air around the holidays, you know? It just makes me feel peaceful and happy. And to God be all the glory, because this year, there are a lot of doors that are opened for me and a lot of things happened to me this year that I was shocked and in awe of 
you know, I feel like I've grown, my faith has grown. So I think the end of the year just allows me to reflect on the year and the holidays just make me warm and fuzzy and happy. You know, I'm an educator, so we do have a couple of days off. So I get to spend time with my son. We get to cuddle up on the couch and watch our favorite movie and make nachos. That's a holiday tradition in my house. Um, you know, and I just thought it would be fun to share it with so you I hope guys. you guys will appreciate this content. It's actually, to me, it's much harder to vlog than it is to make my videos. You kind of have to start thinking. You have to think before you put on the camera and after. So this is an exercise in growth for me. So of course I would really appreciate all of your feedback down below. If you guys enjoyed the vlog, let's continue our conversations down below. Make sure to answer the question of the day. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate the support. <laughs>